Hello, everybody. Welcome to Body ba Balance, Monday Night Body Balance. Um, I'm Natasha. Uh, apologies for the delay. We're testing out some new music software tonight, so I'm hoping that you really enjoy the way that the music comes through the video. Let us know in the comments what you think, and don't forget, if you enjoy the video, make sure you li like it and subscribe to our channel. Okay, so if you are pregnant or you're new to Body Balance tonight, I want you to just think about taking the option that suits your body. Um, I am going to show you different options throughout. If you need to take a rest at any time or just watch for a bit, totally fine. Join back in when you feel ready. So without further ado, let's get into it. We'll start on our mats in child's pose. So come on down with your knees wide, toes together, butt towards your heels and just reach out really long. As you breathe in, I want you to just find a little more length in your spine. And as you breathe out, settle your body down into the mat and allow everything to just soften. Let go through your shoulders, through your elbows. Arm now, let's thread it through and get a nice rotation through the spine. Let's do the other side. Take the arm out, thread through, and as you exhale, just soften right down. Yeah, 
flat back extension and fold again. Back leg steps back to lunge. Back to down dog. Now slow forward to plank. Drop the knees to the ground and go up halfway down to the elbow. Pop a dial. Squeeze butt, roll shoulders, shoulders come up. Push back, knees and toes, down dog. Step your arms back, forward forward, back into the lunge. Step in, push forward forward. Now roll on a three dip.
you to just sink place the heel down. Reset that back leg. Yeah. So try taking a breath in. And as you breathe out, Sun Warrior, palm up, bring your back. You want a little more side bend. Let's press here. Right up above the knee. 
the inch of the knee. When you get there, you're finding a place of stillness inside. So if you're feeling a little bit less still today, maybe take it down an option. And you want more? Breathe and then open your heart. Shine it out. If you want more, you can hook under the knee. Grab the foot and extend. Always a choice for you. Come back down. Back where we began. option. It might be lower, might be higher. I want you to activate the glutes in your standing leg. Just lift right up through the top of the head. The more we strengthen through the body in our balance poses, the steadier, the steadier we are. So who's lifting with me? Let's go. Breathe. Find it out whether you're here, here, or whether you're going to that next step. Bring it down wherever you are. You'll find a beautiful dancer's pose. Hand circles around. Grab the inside of your foot and bring the knees in. And then breathe. And as you exhale, kick into the foot and dive. Uplift, the chest out, keeps you balanced. We do the other side, let's go. Changing feet, taking a hold. Maybe you're just working on grabbing a hold today, that's okay. There's always an option for everyone. Maybe you want to keep your toe down, that's okay too. We try bending the standing leg to bring the hip down towards the floor. Let it go. Let's finish as we began here. One more time. Okay, let's come down to the mat now. Opening our hips. Starting in swan. So if you're new to body balance, 90-90 in the knee is a really good option. If you're feeling up to it, you can take the leg further back. You might bring the foot in, rotate the hip under. A few different levels. You can also come on down. Now if you want a little bit more, just take yourself over the knee and maybe extend right out. Support your head any way you need to. You can use your hands, you can use a towel. Quad stretch, lift up and reach back. We're going to draw that back foot in. Try to get the toe into your elbow. If you are there, you can go into your mermaid. If that's not you, it's not me. Turning, feeling the pain. Side. Simply roll onto the hip and roll over. And then, different side of the body might need to be a different place. You're free to be here, free to be here. Anywhere that works for you today. Remember, it's your body, not mine. So this is a really great opportunity for you to tune into you. It's coming up in the evening. Don't forget the breath here. Always another opportunity. And let go with your exhale. Lifting up, breathing in. Reach back, breathe it out as you draw the foot in. Maybe your 
ready for some abs, some hard work. If you're pregnant, you can do everything on the elbows here or maybe up on the hands if you need to. And you're just doing the legs. You don't have to do the rest. Otherwise, you're on your back. You're going to do a double pulse to the front, double pulse to the back. Shoulder towards knee. Just feel a little bicycle here. Working for our bleeds. If you want a little more, lay it out long. Yeah. Get your breath out through the mouth, in through the nose. 
Drawing the wall back, pull the floor. Do this single time, let's go. Side to side. Watching yourself smiling and having fun. It's a good song. You move, hogs, feet together. Four pulses in the middle, and then extend out long. Again, breathe out through the mouth, in through the nose. If this is too hard for you, you might just do the legs, and that might be fine. Or you might tuck the chin, add on the pulse, but take the arms and legs a little higher so the back can stay grounded. So take any option you need, or even take a rest. Just work on that firm belly brace to keep the lower back pressing down towards the ground. Double time. Two, one, and out. Again, two, one, and out. going just a few more times. This track, it doesn't stop, but it's not long, okay? So let's get that firm belly blast back to the start. Really turn right to the center of your chest. You want to extend your neck? Just a few more. Get something new, a little rest. Take your legs right up in the air. Reverse curl. We lift. We lift. So we're using the abdominals to lift up. If you want a little more, we add a little crunch. And we're doing this for a while. So if you need a rest, the chance to take it. Can you really lengthen your legs out? Lift the hip higher. Okay, singles through our bicycles. Who wants to really reach? Really Frogs. Oh, we're nearly there, guys. So let's work our frogs right to the end of the song. Are you still breathing? Out through mouth, in through nose. Don't forget if you're starting to struggle, take an option. Whether it's here, or whether it's here. Alright guys, we're going to do doubles to the end. Let's go. Who wants those six packs of abs? Who wants to have a nice strong core? That's pretty much everyone, right? We want strong backs. Let's work that six pack. A little bit. You hear it? Two more. You can leave the hug. All right, no rest for the weekend. Up and over. You're gonna start in a plank and then lift up into down dog. So you can walk through the heels when you get there. Or whatever you wanna do. Now something new, bend the knees, pulse back twice, then come 
forward to plank. Again, pulse back twice and come forwards. So in your plank, you want your abs firm, you want your glutes active. If you want more, you're going to do this and lift one foot. Let's go. Lift, hold. If this is too much, of course you're on the knees. Whether you're just doing the plank or whether you're doing the leg lift, that's okay too. You get a little bit more core activation if that's what you choose to do. Who wants more? Let's add the press up. You can drop the knee. Or if you're strong enough, you'll never know if I am. Whoa, on the toes. Try to keep the elbows in on the press up. Alright, come on down. If you're pregnant here, remember this, cat and pointer. You can do some of those. Everyone else needs to bow. So if you're bowing today, one hand to foot or ankle, flex it if you've got it, or the other side and then lift off. Inhale, really kick into your hand and try to hold. Now pregnancy option, you're gonna stay with that for a whole lot of time. In fact, till the end of the song, pretty much. All right, guys, drop the leg. Feet together, squeeze the butt. And come into a locus. Roll the shoulders back, tuck the chin. You're gonna reach your hand forward. And then, draw them back. Can we go again? Let's go, reach. So try to stay in that position. When you pull back, you shouldn't be lifting a whole lot higher with the hands. You can place your fingers down if you need to, or you can completely keep them off the ground. So release. Let's do the other side bow. Squeeze and lift. Keep kicking. If you're not on the double, keep your knees about kick width. Keep higher. And let go. Woo. We're going to finish in that locust. Remember, feet together, toenails press into the floor, hips press into the floor, and your kneecaps will lift off. Roll shoulders, tuck chin, look down to the mat. Let's go. Out. All in. Breath. 
soften down. Completely let go. Breathing in and out through the nose again. It's time for a bit more yoga. And twists. So coming up to hands and knees. Step your front leg forward. Coming into a lunge. So you want to put your hand on the thigh. You might even walk the toes out, the edge of the mat on an angle, so you can let the hips sink down. If you're pregnant, feel free to give the baby a bit more room by like turning the other way. Wherever you are, just try to walk over the shoulder a bit more. Go on this one. So straight your feet off and tuck by this knee to lunge fist. Really press through the back heel. Draw the shoulder back. And then if you need to, you can just the other way. Do the other side. Step back, step forward, and sit down. Just like the other side. You want the pair? You want to drop it? Oh, it's good. Okay. Okay. Not too much. Not too much today. Bring the foot in, tuck, lift off. Come down, sit back to down dog. You might like to walk your feet in a little closer to this one and really push everything backwards. Back hand to front leg. Down dog to the Let's do the other side. Hand down. And turn the other way. down the sitting legs. I'm going to do a seated twist here. So you can take your right leg out, left leg wraps over, sit tall and just opposite elbow to knee as you turn. If you're pregnant, again, feel free to give the baby a little bit more room by turning the other way. We have lots of options for the seated twist today. So if you want to, you can tuck the bottom foot under to make sure the hip plants right down. Maybe you want to hook. Maybe you just want to take the outside of the foot and then gently lifting it up, lengthening the leg. You just keep the micro bend in the knee. And then just acting a bit like a lever here. Give an ITV stretch on the outside of your thigh. Another side. And maybe you want to start out in the easier option.
down, like that. Sit really tall, bring your chest forward towards your thighs. And settle your body down. And just enjoy the ending of this little song. We're going into something really peaceful now. If you can just fold your body in half, feel free. If you struggle to do this kind of pose, you might have your hands behind and push your chest forwards, keeping your spine longer so that the hinge is coming from your hip rather than up higher through your back. And that just might feel a little bit better for you. It's really important that wherever you are today, you relax. So if you're reaching and you're really holding tight onto those toes, let's relax the fingers. Let's relax the elbows, let them bend. Let them drop down onto your legs or even the floor if you'd rather. Relax right across your face if you can make it expressionless. Then take a breath, feel your chest lift and float forwards, lengthening the spine more. And as you exhale, see if you can soften down just a touch. from the hip to get the best stretch, maybe reaching to the outside of the leg. coming into happy babies so you can just hold on to your feet knees whatever works for you otherwise hold on and draw those legs down knees towards your armpits for happy baby you might like to put something under your head Give yourself a little pillow you rock side to side. Even 
always honest and just for you. So I'm going to extend one leg out. So I'm going to do the other leg. Now both legs. You might like to hold the thighs and press through the heels. Just stay here in this pose. Avoid the variation of this pose. You want to stay just for a few more breaths. Feel how long the spine is. Shoulders. And then lastly, because no one's watching, through our face. body relax. I'm just going to stay here for a couple more breaths tonight. Breathing deeply in through the nose. And out through the nose.
Noticing where you feel the breath in your body. And feeling as you exhale, everything relax just a little bit more. smile into your face. You might like to stretch out. You might like to draw your knees in. How does your body want to reawaken tonight? feel ready to bring yourself back up to sitting. We'll seal our practice together as I always like to with the breath. Taking one last slow deep breath in together and bring it down the centre as you exhale. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me tonight. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you. See you next week.